And with us now to talk more about the presidential race and the rally in Tulsa over the weekend is Noah Weinrich. He is with the Heritage Action for America. So turnout much lower than those we expected. Uh, what do you think that is? Is this a sign of weakening support? Why do you, what accounts for the low turnout? What we saw on Saturday were thousands of Oklahomans coming out to celebrate three years of conservative policy successes in the White House and Congress. Uh, President Trump uh, immediately touted his record-breaking pace of federal judges, his tax cuts, his regulation cuts, and many more policy successes. The media initially painted this, painted the rally as having too many attendees. They raised concerns of COVID-19, but when turnout didn't quite fill the arena, the narrative has shifted to say that there were too few attendees. But if you look at the rally on Saturday, people were very energized and the grassroots momentum in 2020 is strong. There were obviously COVID concerns still. Um, there were protesters and issues law enforcement at the event. So I don't think that uh, attendance on Saturday is really a bellwether for the 2020 campaign. I think there's a lot of conservative momentum on the ground. Let's turn to the polls. They show uh, Biden increasing his lead. Uh, he also raised more money than the president last month. Um, what do you think this means? Trouble for the president? Or are the polls reliable? Uh, you know, it's still five months out from the election. I think it's far too early to tell. Uh, just a couple months ago, the polls were very different. A month before that, it looked like Bernie Sanders was going to win the nomination. Uh, so it's still far too early. There could always be an October surprise. I think polls are going to shift. And as you saw in 2016, the polls are not always reliable, even the day before the election. Um, I think that this race is going to look very different once debates begin to happen, once the policy records of both candidates are compared, once you start to see large scale rallies, once you start to see the grassroots really turn out in force after lockdowns end, that grassroots energy is really going to alter this campaign. So I think it's too early to tell. There are so many variables with the economy and coronavirus. Um, it's really, we're only beginning the campaign, really. The president said a vote for Biden is basically an invitation for left-wing radicals to take over the country. Uh, does the current unrest hurt or help the president? Um, I think it could really strengthen his case. You know, he made the case on Saturday for law and order. I think that is something that many Americans are feeling the need of, even those who really support the um, some of the causes of the protests, including racial um, racial justice. Many people are concerned with the lawlessness that they've seen in the protests. And so if President Trump makes the case that, you know, he is a president who can get things done on criminal justice, as he did with the First Step Act, while keeping law and order, that could be a very powerful case for many of the country's swing voters, many, uh, you know, many folks who have conservative tendencies or who really do want to get criminal justice done, but they don't want to see their neighborhoods or families endangered in the process. All right. Noah Weinrich with the Heritage Action for America. Thank you for your time. Thank you.